Along with the gas that's produced out of these wells, you get brine, that is salt water. Keep in mind that the Marcellus was an ancient sea deposit, so there are salts trapped in the shale itself, along with deeper fluids that were injected up into the shale from great depth, which also contained a lot of salt. So in essence, the shale is just about saturated with salt. So when you inject the fracturing fluids down into the shale, it mixes with the shale, flushes or dissolves the salt out of the shale, and as you produce gas, you're also producing brine. So for every million cubic feet of gas you produce, you produce about nine to 10 barrels of brine. So in every barrel, there's 42 gallons. So you're looking at producing about 400 gallons of brine along with every million cubic feet of gas that's produced from a well. That's an awful lot of brine. What's the industry doing with it? Keep in mind that this brine may be anywhere from two to 10 times saltier than the oceans. So it can't be just dumped on the ground. The regulations dictate that the industry must either uh, find a treatment facility that can handle the brine, use disposal wells to re-inject the brine deep into the earth, or recycle the brine in hydraulic fracturing operations. Here in Pennsylvania, the industry has adopted the practice of recycling the brine. So about 85 to 90 percent of the brine that returns out of these wells can be used on another well that will be hydraulically fractured in the future. The tanks in the background actually store the brine that's produced from the wells. The gas comes out of the wells, goes through a gas water separator, and then the, the, the brine is introduced into these tanks, whereas the gas is then introduced into the pipes, which is ultimately taken to the marketplace. The moisture must be removed from the gas so it can be used within the marketplace. So there are actually on-site dehydrators which remove as much of the moisture as possible. And then once the gas is taken to a compressor station, there's an additional layer of dehydration. So by the time the gas reaches the marketplace, the gas is ready for use.